Hey everyone, Daniel from Twin Bytes with another tutorial for you. This time I'm going to be talking about the Windows Insider program and how to get rid of it. If you're like me and you want to get on the program so you can be the one of the first people to get Windows 11 once it came out, but now you're realizing that there may be some bugs in there that are a little bit annoying, there's a couple of options you have to either tone it down or just get rid of this program completely. And I'm going to show you how to do that with Windows 11 right now. Also note that Windows 10 is almost exactly the same procedure. So looking at my computer, if we go to the start button, we'll go to settings. Over on the left at the bottom, there's Windows Update. Then you'll see at the bottom here is the Windows Insider program. So we'll click into this. Here it shows our Insider settings and what we're using right now. So if I click into that, it gives us three options for how fast we want to get the preview builds. So it goes from the most up to date, which is the most risky, to the not so up to date, but it's a little more stable, which is why it said it's also recommended for commercial users like me. So we don't want it to screw around with the settings. We don't want to be the very first person. We don't really want to be in the middle, but you know, we're, we still want to get it before the general public. So if you're already on dev channel, consider reducing it to beta or even to the release preview. Let's get out of here and if you just want to stop getting preview builds, click into here and you'll see there's two options. Now you got to look at this very carefully because there's two options here and you could lose data. So now looking at the second option, if you just want to stop it right away, if you choose this option, it's going to wipe out everything you have, all your data and settings and programs and roll you back to Windows 10. Later on, once there's a stable release of Windows 11, it may give you the option to roll back to that stable release. But for now, there isn't one, so it's going to roll you back to Windows 10 and you're gonna lose everything. So back up your data first if you want to do this and choose this option and that will get you out of the Insider program and roll you back to Windows 10. If things aren't that bad and you're willing to ride it out and wait until the next stable release of Windows 11, then you can choose this option here and just turn that on. And what it's going to do is just keep you where you're at now. Nothing changes, but it knows that it will keep you on here until the next stable release of Windows 11 comes out and it will upgrade you to that. But you won't get any more of the Insider updates. You're basically out of the Insider program. And that's really all there is to it to get out of the Insider program. And just knowing if it's urgent, immediate, you gotta get it done right away. Make sure you back up everything first. And if you're willing to wait and it's not that bad, then just unenroll and hang tight until the next stable release comes out. And if you found this video helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.